In this video, I want us to talk about the Bond Harbor cycle. In your previous studies, you did talk about various kinds of enthalpy changes, and then you talk about Hess's law of constant heat summation. Now, you also talk about lattice energy, and the Bond Harbor cycle is is um, a diagram that you can use to easily determine what the lattice energy is. Now, lattice energy simply is an energy change involved when we have gaseous ions combining to form an ionic compound. All right, so let's see we have elements in their standard state. So elements in standard state. So we have elements in their standard states. Now, if these elements, we can combine them to have ionic compound. The energy change involved when we have elements in their standard states combining to give us an ionic compound, for example, sodium, solid sodium and chlorine as gas if we have this combining to give us sodium chloride the energy change involved is what we refer to as the standard enthalpy change of formation so we represent that by delta h standard delta hf so that is a standard enthalpy change of formation of ionic compound okay so the arrow is moving from the standard states to the compound but then we can just house um, we can just pick sodium metal and uh, chlorine gas and then we are going to have an ionic compound sodium chloride we need to take this through some various changes so for example we need to get a sodium to become gaseous atom and then we need the chlorine to also be atomized okay and after that we need to ionize it so we need them in their ionic states so these ions will combine to give us the ionic compound so let's say we need to convert the elements in their standard states to form ions in gaseous states so we have ions in gaseous states so ions in their gaseous states so again we are converting this to ions in their gaseous states now we have these ions in their gaseous states what we need is the lattice energy okay lattice energy to get this to form the ionic compound so we call this delta h lat so we have standard enthalpy um, of formation and then converting the elements from their standard states to the ions in their gaseous states we need several forms of energy changes which we are going to call delta h1 okay so let's call this delta h1 now what does that mean that means that moving from standard states to ionic compound is a single step which involves energy which are current standard enthalpy change of formation okay but if we take this route if we decide to go this way then we'll say that the standard enthalpy change of formation would be equal to the delta h1 plus the lattice energy okay so these two Delta H1 and the lattice energy should be equal to the standard enthalpy change of formation. Is that okay? All right, so we can determine the lattice energy if we make it the subject. That means we are going to have the standard enthalpy change of formation minus the delta H1. Okay, so delta H. Will be equal to standard enthalpy change of formation minus the delta h1 
is that okay all right so what are the steps involved what are the steps involved in getting an ionic compound now i want us to do that with um lithium fluoride so let's take an ionic compound lithium fluoride so lithium fluoride now the first thing we are going to do is since we we are going to have the lithium in the solid states lithium is a metal and it's in the solid states so the first thing we need to do is to convert it to gaseous lithium so lithium in the gaseous state okay now what energy do we need to do this the energy we need to do this is what is known as enthalpy of atomization okay delta h and then a t so enthalpy of atomization so we are atomizing lithium now some people may refer to this as enthalpy of vaporization but i think the best term to use here is enthalpy of atomization all right so now that we have lithium in the gaseous states what next do we have to do we need to ionize it to get lithium plus okay so lithium plus now what is the energy involved in in i'm gonna clean this and rewrite it well all right so lithium plus remember it is gaseous now the energy involved in making this is what is known as ionization energy so the energy we need to remove an electron from the outermost shell of a gaseous atom is its ionization energy in this case we are removing the first electron which is which means we are going to need an energy which we are going to call the first ionization energy so that is ie1 so now we have two energy involved here we have enthalpy of atomization and we have ionization energy of lithium so now we have lithium plus remember we have removed one electron okay so lithium is ready now what about the fluorine fluorine exists as a diatomic gas so we have f2 gas so since it's already gas we we wouldn't have to get it to become gaseous okay like sodium which was solid but what we need is we need it to become atom since this is a molecule so we need a single fluorine atom okay we need a single fluorine atom so to balance this i'm going to put half here to show that it is balanced with a single fluorine atom so again we are atomizing this molecule to get a fluorine atom all right so we have atomized fluorine now that it is in the gaseous states we need to make it an anion and how do we do that we add an electron now if we add an electron we are going to have f minus okay f minus now the energy we need to add that electron is known as electron affinity so again it is the first electron affinity because we are adding the first one mole of electron to the fluorine all right so now that we have sodium as a cation and fluoride an anion that means that we can combine this and this to form sodium fluoride okay to form the sodium fluoride now what that means is that we have lithium plus gaseous and then fluoride and we are going to have lithium fluoride solid okay now the energy involved here is the lattice energy lattice energy so can we use this to calculate the lattice energy now the enthalpy of formation for of lithium fluoride is minus 617 kilojoules per mole 
now what is the value of atomizing sodium okay so in atomizing sodium we have plus one six one kilojoules per mole okay now the first ionization of sodium is plus five two zero okay the plus that means it is what it is endothermic okay now atomizing fluorine atomizing fluorine the energy involved is plus 79 plus 79 kilojoules per mole now the first ionization um sorry first electron affinity of fluorine is minus three two eight so that is the electron affinity of fluorine minus three two eight kilojoules per mole is that okay now that we have all this value that means that we can go ahead and calculate the the lattice energy involved in this lattice energy is what standard entropy of formation minus delta h1 now the delta h1 from what we have here delta h1 is going to be the summation of all of this okay and so this would be the enthalpy of atomization of lithium okay and then we'll have the ionization energy of lithium of lithium they are going to add the atomization of fluorine and then we are going to add the the last thing which is the electron affinity first electron affinity of fluorine so we need to add all of this to give us the the delta h1 delta h1 all right so let's do that and see what we are going to have so for delta h1 now let me do that here for delta h1 That is going to be plus one six one and then plus over here we have five two zero five two zero and then we have plus seven nine and then plus minus three two eight minus three two eight okay now that is what the input should be and then this is going to give us plus if you punch this in the calculator you are going to have plus four three two kilojoules per mole okay so that is what you have as a delta h1 okay all right so again lattice energy is equal to the standard entropy of formation now the standard entropy of formation we have it here to be minus six one seven kilojoules per mole and then we are going to subtract the delta h1 delta h1 over there is plus Four three two kilojoules per mole. So if we work this out, we should have minus thousand and forty nine kilojoules per mole. Okay. Now, so this is how you are able to determine the lattice energy. This information we can put it in a diagram. That diagram is what we are referring to as the bond harbor cycle. Okay, now let's look at how you can present this on the bond harbor cycle. All right, so you start off by writing the elements 
in their standard state so we have solid so we have solid lithium and then we have gaseous fluorine okay now we need this to form lithium fluoride and like i said earlier like i said earlier the energy involved in doing that is what is known as the enthalpy change of formation okay all right so we are forming lithium fluoride okay now following the steps we just went through the first thing we need to do is to is to atomize lithium okay so for the step one we are atomizing lithium so the equation is going to be like it's going to be lithium but this time gaseous okay we are dealing with lithium in the meantime so we are dealing with lithium for now so now that we have atomized lithium we use an arrow to show this that lithium has been atomized and we said the enthalpy change here is delta H atomization okay now the next thing to do is to show the ionizing of lithium so we are ionizing lithium and what are we going to have we are going to have lithium plus gaseous and again remember we have we have fluorine 1 over 2 F2 gaseous is that okay all right so again you show your arrow now the energy energy change involved here is the first ionization energy of lithium all right now our focus can now shift to the fluorine so now let's optimize the fluorine if we optimize the fluorine we are going to have again we have lithium plus gaseous plus fluorine fluorine gas okay so now that we have fluorine in its gaseous states we can now go ahead and then ionize it so let this be the atomization of fluorine fluorine is atomized all right now we'll go ahead and add the electron all right so now that we have we are adding the electron to the fluorine what is going to be the energy change it is going to be electron affinity so we are going to show the arrow coming down so this time we have lithium plus gaseous and then we also have the fluoride gaseous and this is electron affinity first electron affinity of fluorine so from here we have the lattice energy to get the lithium fluoride so so this is how we present this on a bond harbor cycle so we can go ahead and add all these energy changes from from enthalpy of atomizations of sodium all the way up to the enthalpy of atomization of of fluorine and then we come down to electron affinity and all the way down to the lattice energy so from here we can work out what the lattice energy is now, I hope this video helps you in preparing for your exam. Thank you.